Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I am giving you another unboxing. Except this one's going to be different because it is not a GeForce unboxing or a Radeon unboxing. Instead, it is a Quadro workstation. And this is going to be for my computer, as always. So, let's rip open the cellophane, sealing it, and try to keep the box relatively intact. This is already different because normally the boxes only have some tape sealing them. Here it's a whole cellophane wrap. And there we go. I shouldn't need this anymore. So here it is. Looks pretty good. Quadros usually don't come in boxes. They usually come in just a black slate with nothing but the graphics for them. But I made sure to get one from pretty much a, a store shelf because this is a PNY card. And PNY is a public company, meaning they do GeForce and stuff like that as well. So in here you have a manual, Quadro Docs M2, and that's just got some basic things in it. And it's also sealed, so let's not ruin that. Comes with two Molex to six pin. It's got a DVI to display port and it's got this extra vent here to add some additional ports. I don't know what that port is. Maybe it would tell me in the manual if it wasn't sealed. So overall, this is already looking quite different from your standard graphics card because number one, this card is both shorter than usual, well, maybe not by much, but I think it is noticeably shorter so that you could shove it into rack mounts, and it is single slot. I apologize for crinkling. Oh no, I ripped that. Well. card comes with a lot of plastic on it. Let's take that off and not make it fall onto the floor anymore. Nope. It's got quite a small PCB. The rest of the length is used for the fan. And quadros are used for double precision memory, high performance, and high reliability. This is meant for 24-7 operation. And the there's apparently four stereo. And it's got two bridges up top, but they're not both for SLI. One is for SLI, the other is for something called Sync. Or it could be Sync SLI, and they are both SLI. I really wish this manual wasn't sealed. I shall use the scissors and cut it open. Maybe it will help tell me what it actually is. Or, you know, it could not and be a jerk. And there we go. It comes with a blank DVD, a quick start guide, and that's it. I wonder what's on that blank DVD. Probably just drivers, but it looks very suspicious. So it's got a stereo connector bracket. That's what this little uh, thing here is for that would make it effectively a dual slot card if you did that And I won't I don't have anything that would use this port so I shall use only the single slot card itself I 
I want to find out what sync is, or if it is just sync is a lie. It needs a Intel Core i5, i7, or Xeon, or later. And it needs an AMD Phenom or Optron to use. I don't see this mentioning SLI at all. Probably because it's supposed to have seven of these all uh, slabbed in there like sardines. Because rack mounts, rack mounts are like that. They don't need SLI. They use cards like these for raw performance. Nothing else. But I will be doing a gaming testing on this because this is effectively a GTX 970 core amped up with 8 gigabytes of memory, double precision memory, uh, and higher reliability stats. But it is effectively the same GM200 core as the GTX 970. GTX 970 is a 200, right? No, don't they have like a 206? I'm confused. Why do they keep naming everything after numbers that they re repeat? Because they already had a 200 series, and now AMD had one. Whatever. So video card uh, looks pretty good. It only needs a single 6-pin connector, which is good. Because that is literally all that is left of my massive 1300-watt power supply that's left. And that's interesting. The power is there, but you can see this is a fan. So it actually extends over to here, which is pretty neat. Or I guess, uh, I guess it defines engineering for you. I'm gonna put the thing back in there. So I have it for later if I ever need it. And now that was the unboxing. Uh, a little bit different, a little bit more boring than usual because it's not meant to be flashy or anything like that. It's meant to stay in a case that is on for 24 hours a day. Never turned off. I did not go over ports. Um, all display ports. <laughs> That's why it comes with a display port to DVI in case you need some kind of legacy connection. Uh, I will not. I will be using this on DisplayPort, so it's all good. And then I will not be using this because I don't have enough slots on my motherboard to support it. Well, case, technically. But that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Um, before I go, green PCB. I actually do like the green accents around the fan and the quadro branding, but they could have like made this clear to see the heat sink. But like I said, workstation card meant to stay in a bin and never be opened again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.